In today's video guys, I'll be covering all the incursion details for the Division's new update coming April the 12th. The first incursion will be added is Falcon Lost which can be started by going into the subway entrance in the bottom right of the map. The incursion will come in two different difficulties which are hard and challenging. There is one major difference compared to the challenging missions that we currently have which is there will be no checkpoints, meaning if your team dies you will have to do it all again from the beginning. A major thing to note about the new gear that will be added as well is a few people thought these new gear sets which are actually one tier higher than high end would come in a complete set however this is not the case completing the incursion and assignments will award one random piece of the sets available completing a set of gear will award a slight bonus to certain stats there is going to be four gear sets available at first. One is for snipers or damage players. One is for tanks and people that like to play up front and be a bit more spongy. And one is for healers or support players. And the final one is actually catered towards the dark zone. I'm personally looking forward to trying these out myself. You'll be able to do the incursions as many times as you like but the first time each week will of course have better rewards. Some of the rewards can come in the form of powerful named weapons. You will no longer see the player's level next to their name. However, you will see their gear score which will help show how powerful a player truly is. This will also help with matchmaking as it will help to match make people who are of an equal power. This will also be the case for challenging mode, you will need to re reach a minimum gear score before you can enter. They have also announced that in the dark zone, a random supply drop will be dropping loot which does not need to be extracted, which could be fun as it's going to turn into a bloodbath for anyone attempting to grab the loot. These loot drops will also be guarded by powerful enemies as well for players to deal with before trying to grab that gear. They also announced the new trading system that will be added, which is kind of weird in my opinion, as you can only trade items with any of the three other players in your group when you actually got the gear from a drop, and this can only be done in the first two hours since receiving the item. They've also announced that they are patching all of the loot farming things that we've all been exploiting, you know, you've all been doing it, probably everyone, some people won't have made, but you've all been doing it. They are patching all of those and stopping us from doing it. Um, in my opinion, that's a good thing, it means everyone's going to have to grind equally. That's it for the details for this guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below and why not drop a like and subscribe for future videos guys.